All right, guys, we've been going around talking to all these people at the show here, and we are now at our favorite place at the HP booth. Now, we've been running HP latex inkjet printers for about 15 years now. These things are what drives our wrap division of our shop. We wrap 70 vehicles a month, about 25 to 30,000 square feet a month we put through our HP printers. Our printers we have now are the 570 versions, which we've had for several years now. We have over 600,000 square feet on each of those printers. They're just straight work beasts. We love the HP Latex product. Now, here we are at the new HP booth. We got this giant bus looking printer over here, which we're gonna talk about. And I've got Tom and Dan here with HP. And Tom, tell us about this booth. There's something special going on here. Yeah, this is the first time that we've actually come out and done a booth about sustainability. For years we've talked about our latex products, but we've never talked about sustainability, which is one of the biggest value pieces of our technology. Sure. And HP Corporate has this incredible sustainability policy and it drives all of our R&D, all of our development of our inks, our printheads, everything. Right. This booth is actually carbon neutral. So we have you know, zero carbon footprint as a result of this. Everything in this booth is either reusable, recyclable, made from recyclable products, completely sustainable. For real. HP has sourced 1.7 million pounds of ocean-bound plastic for a lot of its products. As a matter of fact, in the 700-800, our newest printers over here, 22% yeah. are made from ocean-bound plastics. Wow, so, so not only the inks, but the latex being the, the, the latex eco-friendly yes. yeah. now. No odor, no hazardous air machines are as well. Exactly. That's crazy. Exactly. So everything in this booth, you know, the overhead signs, which are you know, made out of basically corrugated, all of that is sustainable. That's now, great. just talking about some of the equipment that we've got, yep. you know, we talked about the size of this. This is one of our best-selling products. You know, number one in its category, and we got Dan here who's going to just kind of tell us some of the bullet points about it. This is a latex machine. This is the R2000. This is the R2000 Plus. What that means is you get this giant machine. You can print boards up to 98 inches wide, okay. up to two inches thick. Wow. Really cool, up to 150 pounds. You load them on the input side of the printer, goes through the printer. Right here we have our print carriage running back and forth, spraying that latex ink directly onto the material. Okay. Super cool because once it comes out here, it's a finished product. You know, we take a board like this, of course, you know, it's white going in, comes out, gorgeous, right? So no lamination? No lamination required, three year outdoor. Wow. Uh, indoor archivability if you're uh, out of direct sunlight. Yeah. So if you're doing fine art, things like that. No, you can't feel the ink, right? No, Close your no, eyes, you can't feel it. Yep. Like a litho surface. Even if you wanted to laminate this with like a dry erase laminate, a lot of companies that do that. You don't get that silvering around the edges you do with that. Right. When you put the lamination with, on. With, with right. the UV ink, right. So, that's great. largest color gamut with this printer of all of our latex printers, right? So fantastic with your color. You can hit all the corporate colors you need to do. Um, that's super awesome. fast, we can print 27 4 by 8s an hour. So 27 4 by 8 What is that? 800 square feet that's an hour? That's a lot of money. Like that. that's, that's a lot, a lot of, money. of money. That's what we're doing here. We're printing money. Right? That's crazy. Yeah. And let me interrupt you real quick because our technology or how we do our business, our printers are designed for vehicle wraps. We chose HP way back in the day because the DPI and the quality of those printers are so phenomenal. Everybody views all of our stuff right here in their face. We're not printing billboards. We're printing these guys that need this crazy high resolution prints. But everything we print, we laminate, right? And then we have to apply it to a substrate. Okay, so if we're doing a four by eight board, we're not putting it through our printers and printing it. We're printing it on vinyl, putting it through the laminator, and then using the rose roller table to apply it to the board. So this takes out that whole step and gives you a better product, exactly. a faster product, a more profitable product. Yep. Because the way we're doing it is not efficient compared to this. So if we were doing a company that was doing a lot of substrates, this is the one. This is the one. Not only large 4x8 sheets, it'll even 
manage small sheets. So I could put multiple small sheets, maybe pre-cuts, okay. right? Yeah. Uh, and I could run those through the printer. The printer will automatically detect all of those, those small pieces wherever they are and drop the artwork directly on them. I don't have to need to know how to read a ruler. Give me an idea of what kind of substrates it prints on because I'm sitting I'm sitting here looking at this. Oh, this is, oh you're, this you're is, stealing my thunder oh, here. Oh, sorry. Ah, nah. You tell me about Because this is shiny, right? That, is that brushed aluminum, eight, uh, aluminum composite? That's exactly right. Yeah, with the brushed aluminum. And this ink will allow oh, that yeah. to shine through. See, you're seeing you the see actual the metallic coming through the ink. That won't happen with UV, not to this level, right? You can do it with reflective material, chrome material, different wallpapers, things like that. There's white ink. That's a big deal here. We didn't talk about that yet, but there's white ink underneath this surfer here. Yep. So that way you can block out some of that reflectivity and oh, have the right and color. And you can choose, tone, choose what you wherever want. you want that, right? Wow. With that white ink. Nice. Now, because if you didn't have the white ink, her skin would be silvery she, she, or green. Who knows what? Exactly. So ah, I like it. Now yeah. imagine the control that you can get with that. Here's what I'm thinking for the car wrap people. I want to see that white ink used in car wraps, using maybe metallic films, clear films. I mean, you could get very, very creative with the printer. This white ink behaves exactly the same as our color inks that with this stretchability. Really? Huh? Absolutely. So uh, anyone wrapping a vehicle doesn't have to worry about it. It's not going to fail, not going to crack. behaves exactly the same. That's amazing. It's, it's a non-yellowing white, so it will not yellow over time like UV because there's no photo initiators in it. So bright uh, white. I gotcha. I gotcha. So are you saying you would also print on vinyl with this? So. To do a car wrap? Or we can no? print on vinyl too. It's a hybrid. It is. So not only this has a roll system to it, so I could do that too. I could do vinyl, I could do wallpaper, I could do wow. any roll material as well. So that's it's, amazing. Yeah, it's you can it's a one stop shop. Yep. With this baby. Hey Rick, we're gonna have to blow out our walls in our production <laughs> room, get this thing in there. Good night. Absolutely. That's an amazing machine. Absolutely. Let me tell you guys a little bit about this clear acrylic here. We've been doing this for years, and how we do it is we reverse print our image on clear 3M and then we come back over top of it with a white piece of vinyl and drop it in on there and you get this product. It's a real pain and we're using a whole lot of materials to get this done. How did you do this? And don't get any bubbles. Oh yeah, we you can't know. get no bubbles. No, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, so this couldn't be easier. One time through the printer, hands off. So what I do, the clear material, load it into the printer and what you're seeing here, this is our white ink. See how smooth yeah. that white ink is? It's ridiculous. It's it looks like vinyl, doesn't yes. it? Right. So through the printer, one time. It's going to print the color and then the white at the same time. Our print heads are staggered. Two white print heads in here that are staggered in relation to the color. So that way I can lay down color and white or white and color, it doesn't matter. But all I know is I put this in the printer, I say print, it comes out this side and I'm like, you know, you can pay me for this now. Done. Wow, that's great. Can you show me this machine running? I can do that. So this is oh. a large touch screen we have here. Okay. We have the same thing on the input side of the printer, so the operator can work from either side. But you have another one on the back? Absolutely, right? So whichever side I'm on, I'm making things happen. Wow. Here, if I select this touch screen here, you see it go to a different page. Yep. Whatever's happening here is happening over there. Very easy. It's mirrored, okay. Yep. Gives you all the controls here, everything you ever want to know about this printer and the inks and the print heads. But the fun part here, we get to the files that we want to print. Yeah. Well, these files, I could just take these if I if I want to, and I could drag and drop. So if I was to take maybe uh, let me grab this file here, drag it over, drag and drop whatever files I want to do, and as many as I want. Wow. So if and if I can mix and match, do one, one, five, seven, ten. It doesn't matter. I can even change it right here and say, hey, let's just do uh, you know 50 more of these and it will auto-populate. You know, what this is showing you here is that this is the way that the prints, are, these, all these boards are going to go through the printer. So as they're coming through, it's going to print this first row, then the next row, next row. Well, how does that work? An operator is standing on the other side with these boards, load them in, the printer takes them in, automatically finds them, locates them, knows the thickness, position, width, drops the artwork on there. Then, as these are printing, you look, operator loads the next board, and then the next board. It's like on and on ad nauseum, right? Just, keeps Just The train yep. is rolling, right? Yeah. What happens is, at a point, as an operator, you are loading, the printer is printing and unloading simultaneously. That's pretty crazy. If I go back here, because, you know, I don't think this video is going to be that long, right? So we'll just make this, uh, we'll go to one, and I'm just going to get get rid of this one. Get, 
So we don't want that. Here we are. So what we do is we hit print. So now that I hit print, the printer is actually thinking about, it knows the media that we're putting in here and how we want to print. And within five minutes, all these signs are going to be out here complete. Five minutes. Oh yeah. Wow. Just like that. Nice. Right. I'm excited. Okay guys, so while that other big beast is over there printing out those PVC panels, I want to bring you over here to this HP Latex 3600 machine. This is a little bit different. This is a roll-to-roll -roll printer, meaning it doesn't do flatbed, hard surface printing. This is the machine if you're going to do a lot of vehicle wraps, and I mean a lot of them, this is great for it. It's also, if you're going to be in the decor market, this is the machine you want to have. This is sort of the de facto wall covering, window blind, print carpets, you name it. Okay, okay, hold on. Decor. What do you mean window blinds? Like, yeah, like, like actual window blinds. You can create a window blind with an real. image on it. I, I mean, wow. It's so it opens up whole kinds of different areas, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Exactly. You can also print the naturals. So you can do draperies, you can do pillows, upholstery, things like that. Yeah. For real. So and wrap I, cars with it. <laughs> and turn around and wrap cars. Exactly. Right now insane. we're running a, uh, a matte canvas. So what I like to tell customers is imagine walking into a, a hotel room. Yep. I could print everything in that room. I could print the photo print in the bathroom. I could print the canvas hanging on the wall. I could print the wall covering. I can print the drapery, the pillow that's sitting on the couch, I can print the couch. Okay, it's so, insane. and then I can turn around and print the bus that you just got out of. <laughs> this thing is giant. What is the print width on this deal? So, this is a 3.2 meter machine, 126 inches wide. Wow. Okay, you can also run dual roll on this machine. So, you could take this 126 inch wide roll off and you can load a 61 inch roll on two sides. That's real important there because we, we run 60 inch material on our wraps all the time. So, you could put dual roll rolls and you can print two vans at the same time. And they could be Coke and Pepsi side by side. It can be different <laughs> jobs, right? That's great. It's great. And then the rolls can be 15 and three quarter inches in diameter. So massive, massive rolls. Because it has that heavy duty yeah, exactly. The heavy duty feed system. So the rolls in single roll could weigh 660 pounds or we can actually load more in dual roll. We can load 440 pounds per side. So 880 pounds wow. together. And that's what comes in with your textiles, right? Because those rolls are heavy, which is, you know, what you're doing this for. That's crazy. And it's funny because I'm sitting here looking at the head of the machine and it's not crazy fast. It's a nice steady pace there, but how wide of a path is that printing on each pass? So each print head is four and a quarter inches wide and there's two print heads per each color. So an eight and a half inch swath. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, eight and a half inch total swath. So that's crazy, man. This thing, do you know the production in an hour, say? Yeah. So this is running uh, canvas at 830 square feet an hour. If we were running, say, PVC banner or a paper or something like that, you're getting up over 1,300 square feet 1300 an hour. 1,300 square. And do you know what we're printing right now on the 570? I think it's about 140 <laughs> square feet an Something hour like at, at high mode, at, at yeah. really high end mode. Oh, you saw the Which lights cut off. These are our 5,000 Kelvin proofing lights. So we added proofing lights right to the printer. And in case you're doing something like a backlit film or a backlit fabric, we have backlights oh, as well. Me. That's great, <laughs> man. Who thinks of all this stuff? So you don't have to cut the prints loose to take them to a light booth or anything like that. You can just proof it right here on, on the, the printer. Fly. Yeah, and if you need to come up and spot check something, you don't have to cut it loose, take it somewhere else. You can just do it right here. Wow, that's just ridiculous. I'm in amazement. And it's stuff you guys put together. It's like, you know, we're so used to the smaller machines, which are not small machines at all. They look right. massive. But when you put them over here with this, I mean, I, this is incredible. I, I've, I've never even seen one of these guys in production. I, I, I think I'm more into this one than that big one up there just because it's, you know, it's, it's a wrap machine. Our productivity would just go through the roof on something exactly. like this. And, but it has the same ink and it has the same benefit. Fit. So as, environmentally as friendly, water-based ink, no VOCs, no hooding of the printer, just a bigger scale. Right? Wow, yep. And when we're printing now, our proofing on the lighting is coming from our fluorescence above us. That's that's archaic, really. I mean, this Kinda, is this yeah. is a pretty uh, pretty cutting edge stuff. How big is the container for the inks? So 10 liter boxes of ink down 10 here. 10 liters? Yeah. 
Wow. So the boxes are hot swappable as well, so I can disconnect the box, take it out, and there's still a liter of ink down inside of the machine. Oh, okay. So think about the smaller printers. They have a liter of ink in the whole machine. Whole this one has a liter of ink inside the machine, so it constantly keeps running, it's even running. if I completely run out up here. And so you're not stopping any of your printing. You, if, if you no. come low on this one, you just go switch it out, boom, put it back together, and never misses a beat. It'll send me a push notification to my phone and tell me that it's out of ink, right. and then I just come and change it. That way I can go run some other piece of equipment, a laminator, a cutter, something wow. like that. Yeah, oh, fully automated. Unbelievable. All right, Rick's gonna hate me, man, but we gotta, well, I don't know, we're gonna have to figure something out on this one. That's crazy. We might have to get a bigger production room for this beast. Mm -mm -mm. Brian, thank you so much for giving us this My information, pleasure. giving the little tour, and uh, man, we really appreciate it. Let's go back up front and check out that big one. Dude, we've been standing here talking for like three minutes and here these panels are coming out. Done. Yeah. What? Are they dry? Dry. Good. Good. Yeah, latex inks. Wow. So remember, just like the, you're used to stretching it, you know, and, and you're installing it on cars, yep. stretch, right? It acts the same way. We get the same stretchability. There are thermal forming companies that are using these printers now. 30 and inch they, draws. Yeah. They're making uh, thermal form signs, right, for wow. auto industry, things like that. That is a super cool thing to look into as well. They're using this printer with these inks. What about fabrication? If I want to go to heat bending, yeah. if I want to go cut and route, yeah. uh, if I want to do packaging, all that flexibility and adhesion with these inks make it better than any ink on the market. That's amazing, dude. I love those motorcycles, too. I bet you do. And you know what else, Dale? This is for you. Oh, for real? Man, look at this. Man. It's the least I can do. All this time, this is the first swag I got from the show, and man, I'm taking it to the guys and telling them all about this machine. It's crazy. Thank you guys for checking us out on this episode with our boys at HP. We love these guys. Their product is amazing. Thank you for watching the Media One Wrap This YouTube channel.